Only on five, a story that thousands of you have been sharing from our Facebook page all night. In fact, at this hour, almost 2,000 people have shared this story today. A 24-year-old man, this man right here, accused of throwing an alligator through a drive through window. Our Jared Worksma spoke exclusively to his family tonight. And Jared, what are they telling you? Well, Jay, uh, Josh James' parents are telling us that uh, he is an outdoorsman and that uh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, was his idol. But above all, they say he is a prankster who meant no harm. Yet Florida Fish and Wildlife says that James grabbed a roughly three and a half foot alligator on the side of the road, picked it up, got it in his truck, brought it to this Wendy's behind us and just hurled it through that drive through window. Just a stupid prank that he did that's now turning into this. And you stupid. believe, you definitely believe this was a prank? Oh, 100% because he's a prankster. He does stuff like this because he thinks it's funny. Ed and Linda James say their son Josh is harmless, but he's sitting in jail facing serious charges. The charge against him is assault with a deadly weapon intent to do less than murder. I don't even get that. I don't know how that... I don't get it. They're still waiting to get the details from their son directly, but they say Josh knew one of the employees working at this Wendy's. Was well, somebody at Wendy's that they were pranking. Do you, not, do you think, though, that the people at Wendy's think it was a prank? Well, I mean, how could you not think something like that was a prank? Wendy's won't give any comment on the three-and-a-half-foot alligator seen here hurled through the drive through window. But Florida Fish and Wildlife was far from amused. They used a credit card receipt from a soda James purchased prior to the October incident and tracked him down in December. It wasn't until this morning the family learned the charges. They said, will he cooperate? I said, absolutely. He's not a bad kid. He's a stupid kid. He did a stupid prank. He had no problem with turning himself in. And you're saying that he is not a violent person? Absolutely or not. It was a total prank. All right, back out live now at this Wendy's in Royal Palm Beach. Uh, once again, uh, for those of you who are wondering about that alligator, Florida Fish and Wildlife says that it was safely released back into the wild because uh, Josh James' parents did tell us he was not a violent offender, had no criminal past. We did look into that. We have not been able to find anything in his past in terms of criminal charges. As for this charge, it's against him now, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to do less than murder. We expect him to be arraigned tomorrow morning. He is spending the night in the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office jail tonight. As soon as we have more information, we will be sure to pass it along. But for now, we're live in Royal Palm Beach. I'm Jared Worksma, WPTV News Channel 5.